ناظرین ویلکم بیک ناظرین ایران کے ایٹمی پروگرام ایران کے داخلی سیاسی حالات اس موضوع پر گفتگو کے لیے ہمارے سے ٹیلی فون لائن پہ موجود ہیں برطانیہ کے ایران میں سابق سفیر معروف تھنک ٹینک سے وابستہ دانشور اور تجزیہ نگار سر ریچرڈ ڈائٹن ویلکم ٹو دا پروگرام سر ریچرڈ ڈائٹن مائی فرسٹ کوشچن از دیٹ اٹ از بینگ سیڈ دیٹ آفٹر جون presidential elections in Iran, the situation, the political situation in Iran has been changed irrevocably. Uh, do you agree with this? Yes, I do agree with that. Uh, the authorities are trying to change the political landscape to remove sources of, of opposition, uh, those who have previously participated in the system from the center uh, or from the reformist wing of Iranian politics, and uh, they have been trying to ensure that they no longer have influence. At the same time, there has been many people protesting the results of the presidential election. And uh, at the moment, there is uh, a deadlock between these two tendencies. The authorities are unable to eliminate uh, dissent and disagreement and to force through acceptance of what happened in the presidential election. And at the same time, the protesters are unable to uh, seriously uh, weaken the uh, governing authorities at the moment. Although nobody can be sure what will happen in future. The situation is fluid. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, you you think that uh, neither the protesters are going uh, they, in, they are not successful in creating any dent against the government and the government is not uh, successful in suppressing uh, this agitation so what's going to happen what do you what do you foresee in the years to come well for 2010 uh, i can see uh, several possibilities one which i think is unlikely is that the regime will succeed in totally suppressing the dissent on the streets, uh, in marginalizing those who disagree with their policies. Uh, a second al al alternative is that the, the deadlock will continue, that uh, the government continues to take decisions, uh, the parliament the, and the government cooperate, the, the supreme leader decides on foreign policy. In other words, life carries on much as we have seen it in previous years, Uh, but there is a continual undercurrent of disagreement and dissent and uh, dissent below the surface. Um, a, th a third possibility is that uh, uh, those who disagree, who are now calling for a change in the way the Islamic Republic of Iran is run, uh, do get the upper hand uh, and that the authority of the regime starts to crumble, the loyalty of the security forces uh, is put in question. So. Uh, there are three alternatives, and at the moment it's impossible uh, to say which is the most likely. Okay, okay. Sir, after 79, after Islamic Revolution in Iran, uh, we have seen that uh, the Supreme Leader uh, has been... Uh, uh, he has been elastic and he has been uh, allowing various reforms to happen like we see in Ali Khatmi's tenure and Hashmi Rafsanjani's tenure. But this time it, uh, we are witnessing that Ali Khamenei is, uh, uh, he is very hard and he is uh, uh, outrightly sp uh, sporting uh, Mahmoud Amdi Nizad. So you think that the attitude of Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei, it is too hard and it is uh, inelastic and not letting any uh, reformists to take place uh, in the government? Yes, I, I agree with that. Um, I think that the, the uh, leader of Iran, uh, Khamenei, decided uh, many years ago that the future of the Islamic Republic would not be safe if the reform current was allowed to continue flowing strongly in Iranian political life. Uh, so that the uh, moves we saw in 2004 to control the election to the parliament to ensure that the reformists lost, uh, the subsequent victory of President Ahmadinejad in the 2005 presidential election, and then the uh, rigging of the election in 2009, uh, all these are part of the, the same trend uh, to control the future of the Islamic Republic, to ensure that the conservative trend dominates uh, in the life of the Islamic Republic. Uh, and yes, uh, a, uh, a, a different approach would have ensured uh, greater stability in the country, 
uh, and that would be to accommodate some of the uh, demands of the opposition. But um, Ayatollah Khamenei has set his face against that. Right. Uh, there are some reports which suggest that Ali Khamenei is uh, uh, going all out in the support of uh, President Ahmadi Nizad uh, because of a uh, very critical stage of Iranian nuclear program. Uh, do you agree with this that uh, uh, the establishment, the religious establishment in Iran, uh, they want to ensure that the president set up and the incumbents uh, are in, right now in Tehran, they should remain the same until Iran uh, achieves its uh, nuclear targets? I think the motivation for the support which the Supreme Leader and the security forces have given to the conservative trend is primarily domestic. Uh, I believe there is a, a widespread consensus in Iran that goes beyond the uh, conservatives that uh, Iran should continue to develop its nuclear uh, enrichment program. Uh, so uh, I, I don't think I agree that the main reason why uh, the developments have been as we have seen them is because of the need to uh, protect the, the, the nuclear program. I think that's a, a, a separate matter of uh, national security policy as uh, the uh, conservative uh, group sees it, uh, and uh, they are determined uh, not to allow the international pressures uh, to control what they do. Right. Uh, so we have seen that uh the Western uh, negotiators, uh, they are not getting successful, especially in the last few days we have seen that China has uh, rejected uh, a fresh package of sanctions in the Security Council. Uh, what's going to happen? Uh, what, what options America and it, uh, its allies uh, have uh, in their hands to deal with the Iranian nuclear program? The, the Americans and others have made clear that the road to negotiations remains open, uh, but uh, at the moment there are no such talks taking place, which is very unfortunate. Uh, the reasons for that is that there has been deadlock on the proposal made uh, earlier in uh, last year for refueling of the Tehran research reactor. That's one thing. And secondly, there's been deadlock on the likely agenda for wider talks on the long-term future of Iran's entire uh, nuclear program. Uh, so at the moment, there are no ideas in play to break either of those deadlocks. Uh, but uh, I believe that the uh, six negotiating countries, including China and Russia, uh, are right uh, not to rule out a return uh, to negotiations. Uh, at the same time, there are likely to be continued international discussions on uh, 